Sid Vicious, known for his role in the Sex Pistols, gained notoriety for his excessive drug use, violent behavior, and mistreatment of animals and people. His chaotic lifestyle ultimately led to his untimely demise, leaving behind a legacy of controversy and speculation surrounding his tragic death. Sid Vicious, the supposed bassist of the Sex Pistols, couldn't actually play the bass. Another musician filled in for him during album recordings, and Vicious's only contribution, the track Bodies, was considered poor and out of tune. Despite attempts by other musicians to teach him, Vicious lacked the attention span and interest required to learn. Vicious' mother, Anne Beverly, was involved in drugs and used him as a mule for smuggling drugs into England during his childhood in Spain. On Vicious' birthday, his mother gave him heroin in front of Johnny Rotten, claiming it would help him relax. This shocking act left Rotten horrified and showed that Vicious had no familial support in overcoming his addiction. Sid Vicious, known for his extreme drug abuse, shocked even fellow punk rocker D.D. Ramone when he injected a mix of speed and vomit from a toilet without heating or cooking it. Vicious' ability to shock even the most hardened punk rockers with his depravity was undeniable. Sid Vicious' mother, Anne Beverly, had a history of enabling her son's drug addiction. She even smuggled drugs into the prison where he was incarcerated and threw a freedom party for him after his release. Tragically, it was at this party that Vicious overdosed on heroin, which his mother had provided to him. During the Sex Pistols American tour, Sid Vicious engaged in self-mutilation as a way to confront his inner demons. He shockingly cut his hand and let the blood flow onto his food, horrifying everyone present, including a macho cowboy. In Dallas, he even carved the words, give me a fix, into his chest, using a mirror and a shard of glass, displaying the common trait of self-mutilation. His behavior escalated further when he repeatedly shouted, cowboys are queers, during a performance only stopping when an audience member punched him in the face. Undeterred by his injury, Vicious continued the show, covered in dripping blood. Sid Vicious's troubled childhood and lack of support led him to contemplate suicide from a young age. Even his friend Ja Wobble didn't take it seriously at first but soon realized the dark and broken side of Vicious that no one was willing to help. Despite his lack of musical talent, Sid Vicious knew how to swing his bass with force. During a show in Texas, he was provoked by a rancher and unleashed his anger by swinging his 10-pound bass guitar at him, narrowly missing and instead hitting a nearby roadie. During his troubled life, Sid Vicious committed a truly disturbing act by torturing and killing a cat in front of his friends. Mark Helfond, a close friend of the Sex Pistols crew, witnessed the incident and later expressed regret for not intervening. Vicious, who lived with John Lydon in squat flats after being kicked out of his home, would also self-mutilate with aluminum can lids and strangle cats. These shocking actions were believed to be fueled by Vicious' desperate need for attention, stemming from his neglectful upbringing. Sid Vicious, known for his troubled relationship with Nancy Spungen, was not only abusive towards animals but also towards humans. Spungen, who suffered from schizophrenia and had a tumultuous connection with Vicious, would verbally attack him until he responded with physical violence, resulting in serious injuries. The abuse seemed to escalate when Vicious became depressed after the breakup of the Sex Pistols, making him a suspect in Spungen's tragic stabbing death. 
During a stop on the Sex Pistols North American tour, Sid Vicious displayed his violent tendencies by assaulting a reporter with a bicycle chain. The target of his aggression was Nick Kent, a former Sex Pistol and reporter for the New Musical Express, who had clashed with the band due to a disagreement about singing abilities. Vicious attacked Kent after a comment about his trousers, striking him on the head with a bicycle chain three times, resulting in blood splattering on the wall behind Kent. The Sex Pistols' recording contract was jeopardized by Sid Vicious' violent and drug-fueled behavior, which included domestic violence, vandalism, drug abuse, and self-mutilation. The final straw came when the band engaged in a massive brawl at Heathrow Airport, resulting in their unceremonious dismissal from EMI's roster. A&M Records took a chance on the band, but Vicious's unruly behavior at a celebratory party led to their swift removal from A&M's label, serving as a reminder not to bite the hand that feeds you, no matter how punk it may seem. Before her death, Sid Vicious wrote a heartfelt tribute to his girlfriend, Nancy Spungen, despite their tumultuous and violent relationship. In this list, he praised her beauty, sense of humor, and fashion sense, showing that amidst the abuse, there was still a glimmer of love within Vicious. Sid Vicious woke up to a trail of blood in his hotel room, leading him to discover his girlfriend, Nancy Spungen, dead from a stab wound. Despite his arrest for her murder, Vicious pleaded not guilty, with some believing his love for her made it unlikely for him to have killed her. The case remains unsolved as Vicious died of a heroin overdose months later. Sid Vicious, while out on bail for the murder of his girlfriend, Nancy Spungen, smashed a glass bottle over someone's face after attempting to flirt with their girlfriend at a skafish show in New York City. Despite his troubled upbringing, Vicious's lack of consideration for others' safety and well-being is difficult to overlook. Sid Vicious, the punk rocker of the Sex Pistols, found himself spared from revealing his lack of bass guitar skills due to hepatitis, which he contracted as a result of his frequent intravenous drug use. It is uncertain whether he contracted hepatitis B or C, but considering his premature death from a heroin overdose, it is unlikely that he lived long enough to experience the chronic effects of either strain. Ironically, Sid Vicious, the punk rocker known for his violent and drug-fueled behavior, got his name from a hamster. While visiting his friend John Lydon, the hamster named Sid bit Vicious, leading Lydon to exclaim that Sid was really vicious. This nickname stuck, even though the hamster was described as the softest and furriest creature, making it a dark and ironic namesake for someone infamous for their violent tendencies.